Hey guys, Metal Jesus here, and I am back again with John Riggs. And we have some more PlayStation VR hidden gems. We did a part one a few months back. You can certainly check those out too, yes. but we have even more of them now. Okay, so we're gonna jump right into this because I am so excited to see what you have here because you are the VR man. I, I don't know what it is. Yes. I love the PlayStation VR, uh, love the experience. I love everything about it. Um, I'm all about it. Okay, so what's the first one? Uh, we gotta talk about a game called Intruders Hide and Seek. This is a game where you play as a small child. You play as a small boy in this awesome house, and there's these intruders in your house. Now you're trying to find out what's going on. Your parents have been kidnapped. They've been beat up in the basement by these intruders. It's dark. And <laughs> and your sister has like emphysema or something like that. It's like she's really sick, and she's in a panic room. But she has the walkie-talkie. So you as a small child have to like go through the house to find these little things like, oh, I got to find dad's computer upstairs. I got to do this thing over here. Um, but in the meantime, as these intruders are walking around, kind of like Metal Gear Solid style, okay. um, when they try to see you or when they're about to see you, you have to like duck under a bed. You have to hide in the closet. You got to do something. You have no weapons the entire game. There's huh. no way for you to take out these guys. All you gotta do is just hide because you're you're a small boy. This you're sounds small child. stressful. <laughs> it it can be. It's a fun experience, and as the storyline goes, you find out a little bit more about you know why are the intruders there. Each one has their own story and stuff like that. So the more I played at first, it was just kind of like, oh, it's a fun little hide and seek thing. But then the more as the story progresses, you're like, oh, now I'm really curious to find out what happens next. Huh. Okay. I'll yeah. Check that out. Intruders hide and seek. It's definitely worth checking out for okay. sure. Okay. Cool. Uh, another one of my favorite experiences is called Pick. Pixel Ripped 1989. Have you heard of this one yet? No, I haven't. This game, way up there on probably one of my, it may be one of my top five PSVR experiences. Really? Okay. Um, you play as, <laughs> there's two storylines happening at the same time. One of them is in this pixel world, it's like this 8-bit looking Game Boy world. Um, their world is falling apart. So they need to find the great savior to save them, which happens to be this small girl in an elementary school. So their world gets put onto a copyright-free video game device. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and now she's trying to play this game in class. So the teacher's up there giving directions, she's writing things on the chalkboard. All in the meanwhile, and this is when you have your dual shock here, you're looking at the teacher because you don't want to make sure that she sees you playing this game. In the meantime, you're looking down here trying to play this game to help them save their world. But if the teacher catches you, then she like, you know, disciplines you and all oh, that. Oh, wow. You have a spitball gun that you can like cause distractions in the classroom. So the teacher <laughs> okay. goes over there so you can actually bring up the thing and play it a little bit more and move on with the story. And every once in a while, the lines cross where the game itself kind of comes to life on your table so the, the books turn into platform levels and all that wow that sounds crazy but okay. it's you're you're playing like an 8-bit game boy game in playstation vr as this little thing that you're trying not to get caught by the teacher and it goes on ah. from there too but it's just it's such a fun experience wow. so awesome. that sounds cool yeah see i like games mm. that, that, yeah. that actually understand the vr aspect of, of like putting you <laughs> in just virtual reality right right, right. huh okay cool so fun um I can't explain why it's so awesome. I really can't. But the Res games are phenomenal. Oh yeah. And it's, they have a uh, Res Infinite now. Um, this is uh, it's just it's kind of music rhythm, but not really. Yeah, kind it's, of on rail shooter. It's an on rail shooter yep. for sure. Uh, but something about it, and I mean the levels are. Sometimes it seems like the levels are like ten seconds long. Right. <laughs> it really does. But the more you play, you realize like you just want to keep playing it. You want to keep going. Well, I like these games because they are just so unique. There's so much going on. The the music is throbbing, and the whole world is like reacting to the music. It really is. Uh, they're just excellent games. And when this was announced, it was coming to VR. I was like, oh my god, this is either going to be uh, <laughs> amazing or make you puke or both. Right. <laughs> uh, for me. I will say this is definitely a little bit too intense. I have to be in the right mood for this because okay. I can only play it for maybe about five or ten minutes. I love it. Okay. I'm absolutely right there. I, you know, it's such a great game, but then it's like, okay, I need to take a break for a little bit. <laughs> okay. I need to pull the headset off and, sure. you know, fall back to reality. But you're right. right. It's amazing. It really is. Hmm. Speaking of amazing, we have Super Amaze Balls. The game is called Super Amaze Balls. Okay. <laughs> it is, you've seen them before, like in those old fashioned timey stores and stuff like that. It's like, it's the piggy bank. That's like a, a sphere. You put the penny in it and it goes through this little track and you have to move the ball and the penny goes over this way or the marble oh, goes this way. Yeah. It's one of those, but in VR. So you move your, your move controllers are your hands and you have to <laughs> manipulate this giant orb by moving the thing around. And if the marble falls off, it goes right back where it was and kind of a time thing. Um, 
it's through. It's a digital only game. It's one of those. It's actually pretty cheap or pretty inexpensive yeah. too. I didn't pay much for it, but the more I played it, the more I'm like, this is awesome. Actually, it's it's really really fun. Just to kind of just you ended up. I played it just to test it out, and I ended up playing it for like two hours straight. You know, that's the thing about VR <laughs> is that there are sometimes there's some experiences where if it was just to come out in a normal 2D way, right, you'd be like, eh. But when it comes out in VR and you're suddenly in that world and you're right. playing with this device in 3D, <laughs> the, the, the excuse or the, the example I use is like uh, you know pinball VR, which we talked. Oh, previously. sure, yeah, yeah. You know how many times have you played video pinball? A million times. Right. But, but again, when you play it in VR, it's like all of a sudden it's like, oh my gosh, this is the best way to play it ever. It really you know? is. It really is. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Huh. Uh, there's a new dungeon crawler called The Mage's Tale, hmm. um, which you play as a first person. Dungeon crawler. It really is just a dungeon crawler, um, but it's kind of cool. Like you open up these uh, menu items where you have like you can throw fireballs, you can throw uh, lightning. You have a little other guy trying to help you out to see where you want to go. Um, but it's cool because like when you come into a room and there's like these goblins that you got to kill, you have to literally yeet these fireballs at these enemies that you're looking at them. So you got to look at them. They're coming around the corner, and you literally with your move controller, you actually. I mean, if you try to just do this, your fireball will just go pew. <laughs> okay. So I mean, you have to actually pull out your pitcher arm and start checking these fireballs at these guys to you know reach them all the way across the room and stuff okay. like that um, oh. and you can unlock puzzles along the way too and you see these light poles you can use lightning electricity or whatever and it opens up the door or something like that too but it was fun to look just look around and um i like games where it's like oh here's a little potion i don't need it now i'll place it on my on you know you actually literally have to do the motion to place it on your hip and i'll huh. use that later and later on me you can you know drink your you actually drink the potion you know okay that sounds cool yeah, the mage's tale it's, it's i think it's worth checking out for sure hmm, okay I think this game's worth checking out for sure too. It's called, I believe it's called Deracine. Okay. Hmm. It's an interesting story. Um, you play as a fairy and in the fairy world, time stands still. So as you're moving around, everything is still, like everything's frozen in time. There's like the, the waves on the water aren't moving. The children in your, uh, it's like a boarding school, they're not moving, but you can unlock story elements. It's like, well, let's see what happened here. So you can, um, like in one of the elements you're trying to get the ingredients for the stew or the soup they're making. So it's like, okay, well, I have to, um, you know, unlock something. I have to, uh, you know, I'll grab this from their hands and then put it in there. And then time opens up where the animation will actually take place and it's like oh I need this other thing over here so then you gotta find that too then everything stands still because you as a fair you can do multiple things in the same moment of time so then all these things are happening it's 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 an I mean it doesn't it doesn't sound great right yeah. <laughs> well it's, so I'm looking at the 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 box you have or the case right. and it says from software so it is fr I was gonna I was gonna mention that too it's crazy. from from software wow I mean so <laughs> they are they are like uh, beloved developers, so that's they really are. Wow, it's crazy, and it does require the move controllers here. So it does, which actually, I, again, that tells me that okay, they're they're going for that full VR experience, which, right? You know, that's cool, actually. Yeah, and it makes sense because sometimes, like, there's you know, you have to remove the hat from the head to find an item, and then you use the other move controller to grab the item from under the hat, and you can put the hat back okay. on. Um, or sometimes there might be a um, there's there's a time there's certainly a time element uh, hmm. as part of this game where you have to. To, you know, you, you pick up an item like it's a bunch of grapes, and you suck the life force out of the grapes, and then you go over and you find a flower, and you put the life force from the grapes into the dead flower to bring the flower to life. Interesting. You know, well, it's 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 really fun. It just it, it makes yeah. you want to see what happens next. Okay. Well, I, again, I like games that you know take the medium, which again, this is VR, and actually you know take it as far as they can or do, right. do a new experience. So. Sure. Okay. Awesome. Um, new experience for me was a game called Vertigo Go Home. Okay. It's, it's just called Vertigo Home. Um, it has a very kind of uh, Dea de Mortis kind of vibe to it. Um, mm. I, I don't know. It's you don't use the move controller. You don't use the Dual Shock. You don't use the aim. You use your head, and it's a tunnel crawler. I, I don't even know what it's called. But you're constantly moving down this tunnel. Um, it goes from a like circular, like a tube. Then the next level is you're on the outside of the tube. So you're going from inside to outside. It's alternating, and you just kind of have to. Dodge obstacles doing this. You just have to do this okay. the whole time. That's and I don't know what it is. The soundtrack is awesome. I love the soundtrack. I love uh, the randomly generated items. Every time you play it, it's a different game because all the items and all the obstacles that come up um, will be different and in different places 
um, every time you play the game. Hmm. Um, it's one of those games that says it's super hard to explain, but it's called Vertigo Home, and uh, you'll recognize the icon because it's uh, this Day of the Dead looking dude wearing a sombrero. Um, and I can't explain it, but it's okay. just it's just one of the games. You just, it's the game where it's like as soon as you crash into something, you're like, oh. I know I can do better next yeah. time. And then you just keep playing it and you keep playing it. Um, super fun. I haven't heard of so many of these. Okay, <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, we have a game called Transference. Hmm. It is a first person puzzle game. Um, this game got a lot of notoriety um, because the art director was Elijah Wood. The guy, who, the guy who plays like Frodo Baggins and all that. Oh, He's actually involved with this game called Transference. Um, and it, it's pretty cool too. You get in, I don't know what it is with VR games, you play as a small boy, but you play as a small boy. <laughs> Uh, your dad has this great idea for the future and he's all weirded out and all that and it actually shows like there's like live action involved too like on the TV screens and on monitors will show up and it'll go through uh, what's going on there but really when you play the game um, you kind of go back and forth between when you're younger to when you're a little bit older um, in the apartment that you're living in and that's something that might need to be unlocked like maybe you need to find the item that fits in it with um, it looks graphically kind of trippy because like there's some things that are like glitching out and like because it's like fragments of memories that are there but not really there um so it just everything looks kind of glitchy but then there might be something that's like oh this part is completely blacked out and but it's like you know like oh we're missing and it looks like some kind of computer code for like you know like this item file type is missing mm. but then when you find it and you sync it up then it'll open up to like oh here's the door that you need to go through here's right. the item that you need to unlock um quick experience but again it's one of those vr experiences um that has a pretty cool story too especially when you see like the live action footage of what's going on and um why you are where you are and what you're trying to unlock and kind of the shadows of beasts that are trying to haunt your soul or something like that. Wow. <laughs> it's called Transference, but the fact that it had, like Elijah Wood was part of it. I was oh, like, yeah. oh, I gotta check this game out. Yeah, now. that's crazy. That's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, now, Psychonauts Rhombus of Ruin, this has been out since around when the PlayStation VR first came out. I remember when this was announced. However, now that more and more people are just now getting into the PlayStation VR, and you have to look back on what they may have missed in the first place, this is one of those games that people keep forgetting about, like, oh, I completely missed it, because yeah. it was, when it first came out, that's it wasn't really there for them yet. Hmm. Um, if you're not familiar with Psychonauts, it was available for uh, Xbox and PlayStation 2. I love that game. Yeah. It's a, a 3D action platformer, where you have to, like, jump inside their minds to solve their problems for them. Kind yeah, of yeah, to deal with their psychosis <laughs> and, and their, yeah, their mental their, issues. Yeah, exactly. it was awesome. Super fun game. And on this one, you don't really walk around. You jump from mind to mind. So whatever they're looking at, you have to jump from, like to another person to see what they're looking at and then they're like oh and then they look out the window and they see oh here's this fish then you jump into the fish so they can you can get a different uh, perspective to mm. see where else you're going um and then along the way to the people that you're trying to help out and solve without spoiling the story um you might see something through their eyes that others aren't seeing through your own eyes kind of thing um there's a great scene in there later on where um the mom is like trying to uh, you know psychically uh, stop this school bus it's like you look out there's like there's no school bus and then there's a bunch of just you know, random fish in the bus or whatever. But then when you jump inside the mom's mind, it looks like there's this giant train coming at the school bus. And then like all the little random fish are like school kids who are screaming and stuff like that. You're like, wow, no, 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 you gotta, interesting. you gotta unlock this and then make sure the mom, the mom's good to go. And um, it's, it's another fun game and doesn't, it doesn't take a whole lot to um, like my, my daughters love playing this game. Cause like there's no one going to surprise you and kill you from behind or anything like that. Well, the original game was so unique at the time. It I mean, was. it was such a cool game and I'm really glad you brought this up. Cause I don't have this yet. And yeah. I completely forgot about it, just like that, you said, I know. That's what I'm saying. Every once in a while when you wow. talk about like, oh, I just got a VR, what should I get? I was yeah. like, dude, you got Psychonauts Rhombus Hero. And they're like, oh yeah, I remember hearing about that you know, a few years ago. Okay, well that's cool. Gotta find that. And if you find it new, you uh, there's a, it comes with a free download of Psychonauts for, the, for your PlayStation 4. So That's cool. Huh? You never know. Finally on the list, what people still may not realize, and I still find this more and more, uh, for people who are just getting into Doom, this is called Doom VFR, because they have the, the BFT, of course. Right. Um, if you find the unlockable little figurines in levels, you will unlock classic Doom maps. I did not know So this. you're playing as 16-bit Doom in VR. I did not know this. This is amazing. Okay. Yeah, just like with and on the last Hidden Gems video, we had Battle Zone where you could play as you know yeah. the original Battle Zone. Um, you play as now your character model, your hand model, your gun model. The enemies they're still optimized for PlayStation Four. Those are still the, the yeah. updated character models. But then uh, the walls, the floor, the items, the the power ups, and all that it's all 16-bit Doom. 
in, and in looks, VR. In VR. I had no idea. Yeah, That's and so the more awesome. you find, I think there's there's something like twelve or thirteen maps that you can unlock. So there's a lot of them. Huh. Um, but it plays. It's it's your sixteen bit Doom, old school Doom, buddy. Uh, but in VR, and that's uh, on this game, you have to play the game itself and find all the unlockables and all that. I am so doing that. Yeah. I have no it's idea. It's so fun. It's, it's <laughs> so as fun funny. to see. It has the same music and everything. Oh, it's great. really? Oh, my God, dude. Well, this was great, actually. <laughs> right. I love doing these kind of videos because I'm taking notes as well. So this right. is awesome. That's why I love doing it. All right. Well, dude, where can people find you on the internet? Um, you can find me at John Blue Riggs on Twitter and Instagram. I also uh, host a YouTube channel where I also show off more mm -hmm. PlayStation VR goodness. A lot of people are doing PlayStation VR, and it's... Um, it's it's taken over, man. I'm I'm a huge fan myself, personally. Oh yeah, and there's so many games that we haven't even talked about yet. So oh, good lord! I know, and, and I love how you cover that on yeah. your channel and on it's your an, podcast. It's another video for another time. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Take care. Now I know not everybody's crazy about VR, but I often wonder how many people who say they aren't interested haven't actually tried it yet. I was kind of on the fence as well, and then I tried it, and I gotta admit there are some really cool experiences. Now, I, I do feel like we're kind of at the infancy of the technology at this point, and I'm really excited to see what happens going in the future. If you haven't tried the PlayStation VR or something like the Oculus, I highly recommend it because it's definitely a very cool experience. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. Have a great day.